And f please know that I'm going to, um, when we get to uh, tomorrow's lesson, that I review all these methods again. So it's worth trying a bunch of these in the homework, but it's not worth freaking out yet because there's more examples coming. Yes? Oh, it's underneath my angel food cake, my last example. There we go. My, I, get, I, I got the one that went on the floor. There's extra pieces here if you want to come get them during the lesson. Okay, so... In gen okay, here's the formula. So if that's all running together, here's the formula. In general, when using cylindrical shells, you go volume equals A to B, 2 pi, shell radius, shell height, DX. Could be DY, yeah, depending on which way you're going. We found out DX was the way to go when the, s the shells are going this way. If the shells are going vertically, we'd go DY. One more example. Let me scroll down and do this example. The region bounded by the curves 4 minus X squared, Y equals X. Okay, I need a really good picture here. I've got to be careful here or else you won't get the whole view of things. So here goes, that's not what I wanted. Four minus X squared. There's four minus X squared. Y equals X. and x equals zero. So again, I'm gonna do that barely shading thing so you can see what the, no, that's not the color I wanted. I wanted that weird beige color. There, can you just barely see that? There's the piece that's being rotated around. So I would actually get this as the whole volume that I'm trying to do there. Uh, really hard using methods we used before, but if I just draw the one cylinder here, let's see if I do a good job. In my notes, I did a great job of drawing this cylinder so you can really see where the cylindrical shells are. It's actually way better than I hoped. There's one cylindrical shell. Can you sort of visualize that cylindrical shell inside there going all the way up, yeah? So my volume is integral from A to B. We just copy it straight up above. Two pi shell radius, shell height, dx. Little problem right off the hop. To get the dx, I need to know that x value right there. The edge of the shape there. And so I'm stuck with solving this equation. 4 minus x squared equal to x. I've got to find out when do these two curves bang into each other. And I get x squared plus x minus 4. I get a negative value that I don't care about. And you can try this with the quadratic formula. I got 1.562 as my x value. I'll leave that quadratic formula stuff for you to, to work on, at, on on your own. Do the quadratic formula. Make sure you know how to use the quadratic formula to get my 1.562. So I get volume equals 0 to 1.562. Ooh, I, w I wanted to move that. You know how I feel about those common factors. Hammer that thing out front. Now the shell radius. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's hard. The last question, it was really hard, but the shell radius here is not hard at all. What's the radius of each shell? As the X value goes out and these shells get wider and wider, the, sh the radius is just the X value. Yeah? So don't look for, don't watch for ghosts here. There are some parts of this that can be easy. The height, oh, that's a problem. That is a real problem. And what you need is 
the coordinates of this point, that's 4 minus x squared. And this is down here, this one's, this point here is x comma x. So the shell height is the top height subtract the bottom height. That's not easy. Picking all those things out of there. That's the part you got to practice and do a lot of. Three more slices of cake here. Who's going to? Jacob's already had two. They're light and fluffy. They don't even really count. Question. Um, so like Top Y value, yeah. subtract bottom Y value. Yeah, I found this X value 1.562, so I got to go zero out to this 1.562 that I found with the quadratic formula. I'll land this thing and then pause for questions, okay? 2 pi, 1.562, 4x minus x cubed minus x squared. I'm rushing, so I'm double checking on my notes so I don't make a mistake here. So I get volume equals 2 pi antiderivative 2x squared minus a quarter x to the fourth minus a third x cubed. And I got to sub in. I don't care about the zero again, but I got to put in the 1.562. I get a volume of around 13.327, depending on how many decimal places you use. Okay. Oh, we made it. We made it. I don't believe it. Seriously, we got to use up this cake. Maybe Mrs. Tuttle wants some. Does anyone go to chemistry next? None of your chemistry people? This is all in the video. Yeah. <laughs> More time on that one? Please know, these are not easy. This, is, this might be the hardest thing we do all year. It ties together everything that's going on. It's tough to keep track. It's tough to draw diagrams that are anywhere near good enough to figure these out. Yeah? But a review lesson coming up. After you try a few, beat your head on it, cry a little bit, then we'll come back and, and, and go at it again.